Hello, my name is Jonathan Griffiths, and I did my cultural event presentation on the annual Mount Dora Music and Arts Festival. The 49th Annual Mount Dora Music and Arts Festival. I enjoyed attending the 49th Annual Mount Dora Music and Arts Festival located in downtown Mount Dora in Florida. The historic streets were filled with over 300 talented artists showcasing their unique and exquisite artwork. It was a delight to explore the charming downtown area with its wide variety of shops and lively music and the artwork that accompanied this. I had a great time exploring the art exhibits and the booths, and my mother particularly enjoyed admiring the hand-blown glass sculptures, especially the ones that depicted various birds and garden elements. What I saw at the festival. I had the opportunity to meet Diona Fish, who is a talented artist from Asheville, North Carolina. Her art represented playful, colorful, and fantastic landscapes, which represented themes of finding love in oneself, which I found to be truly captivating. I also had the chance to admire some stunning photography by a few talented photographers. As someone who loves photography and dreams of becoming an event or sports photographer one day, I found this to be inspiring. Why did I go to this event? This, this experience was really important. Many artists and authors behind these creations intend to convey valuable messages that can positively impact people's thoughts, emotions, and actions. What sets these artists apart is their ability to express themselves beyond the limitations of language, using symbols, shapes, and forms to bring their imagination to life. I gained a lot of valuable insights from the event, particularly those pertaining to our class and the discussions that we have been talking about. Much of the artwork on display dates back to the Renaissance and the Industrial Revolution, and I was struck by how these historical periods influenced the artist's work and styles. There was a diverse range of art on display, including some stunning portraits as well as pieces that resonated with topics that we've been exploring in class, such as ancient Roman and Greek architecture, culture, and ideologies. The Industrial Revolution and the Renaissance. I was particularly fascinated by the opportunity to discover some new aspects of history and contemporary issues. The Renaissance artists, for example, focused on human behavior and emotions, depicting people in their natural states as they interacted with one another. While this may not seem significant today, it was this period that paved the way for many newer art styles and techniques, like the ones that I've seen at the festival. The festival also had highlighted the importance of the Industrial Revolution, a time of scientific and technological advancements in the 18th century. From this festival, I gained a deeper understanding of the messages conveyed through the sculptures and the paintings from two distinct time periods. And lastly, the challenges I faced. One of the most difficult aspects of attending the Music and Arts Festival in Mount Dora is that arriving early is necessary. If you do not, you will have to park far away and walk a considerable distance to reach the main streets where all the booths, venues, shops, and restaurants are located. I wish there were also more restrooms scattered throughout the festival, as they were sparse and far and few between. You can bring your pets or dogs to the festival, but I would suggest leaving them at home. There are very few places for them to do their business on the streets, and it can be inconvenient for both you and your pet. When I brought my dog, I had to walk a couple of blocks to a local park, so him and I could relieve ourselves.